Hi, I'm Ben Ramcharan, Mayor of Nornbik Shire Council, and I'm here at the beautiful Kangaroo Ground War Memorial Park. I've just returned from the Australian Local Government Association's National General Assembly in Canberra. An important part of being Mayor is advocating for the local community. And in Canberra, mayors from across Australia came together to advocate to the federal government on issues that affect our communities. I had a meeting with the Honourable Catherine King, Minister for Infrastructure, Regional Development, Local Council and Transport. And we discussed important infrastructure and road funding, as well as dangerous roads, including the roundabout in Greensboro. Australian Local Government Association endorsed Nilbit Council's advocacy to the federal government on key issues affecting our community. In particular, we are advocating for improved funding for infrastructure renewal. We know how important it is to keep key infrastructure such as sporting grounds and roads in good condition so that the community can keep using them. And we're advocating for better funding to help us do just that. We're also advocating for improvements to the electricity grid, for better and more equitable distribution of renewable energy as we continue to work towards the targets in our climate action plan. On another note, the Victorian Government have just released their draft housing targets and they're suggesting an increase of 12,000 dwellings in Nilambic by 2051. That's an increase of almost 53% on our current housing supply. While Council acknowledges that we do have a supply crisis at the moment and we do need to build new housing in order to meet demand, we are committed to protecting neighbourhood character and our urban tree canopy. We're also committed to protecting our precious green wedge and we do not support moving the urban growth boundary. Council will be making a submission to the state government to represent the, what our community values the most about where we live. We will see housing growth and we don't want to stop that, but we want to make sure that any housing growth is in line with the values of the Nilambic community. Council has already done a lot of work developing our neighbourhood character strategy and our draft housing strategy and the new targets will have implications for both of them and we need to go away and reassess once the final targets are released. We'll keep you all up to date as that progresses but in the meantime I suggest that you go to the Engage Victoria website to have your say on the Victorian Government's housing targets. We're advocating to the state government for better funding for Green Wedge councils to help protect the Green Wedge, enforce the planning scheme and protect biodiversity in our precious Green Wedges. We're also advocating to the state government for measures to improve road safety on our rural road network. That includes giving local councils the ability to control speed limits on rural roads. When we find issues like this that we share in common with other councils across the state or across the country, it provides us with an important opportunity to collectively advocate together for our local communities. It's been an absolute honour serving as your Mayor for two years now. and I'm so proud of what we've been able to achieve together. We've in improved enforcement procedures so that we can better protect what we love about our precious Green Wedge. We've also improved environmental volunteering opportunities so that more people can participate in planting and weeding and protecting the area that we love. This will be my last video message and I'd like to thank you all for your support over the last two years of being there. Thank you.